we are with Noah Humfeld finally on the Madison chain. Finally. Opening weekend was last weekend, yep. so it's still early. Yep. What are we doing tonight? We are going to catch a bunch of walleyes, and we are going to be trolling, which is like one of my favorite things to do. You've seen us do this night trolling thing before, but uh, we're, we're going to be doing it a little different. We are fishing pressured water and be focusing in, on some shallow water stuff, and we're talking five feet or less, real shallow water. And uh, it, it's, it was an awesome opening weekend. I can't even begin to tell you how, I don't know how many fish we caught. I'm hoping because the weather's pretty consistent that we're gonna keep this bike going tonight. So we're gonna run through what I'm doing, what we're using, and uh, kind of give you the down and dirty details. If you wanna come out and do this, you can do it. It's not that hard. And you don't have to be on the Madison chain no. to do this. No. This information you get tonight, or whenever you're watching this, is relatable to pretty much any body of water that has either walleyes existing or plenty of stocked fish. Walleyes are walleyes. It doesn't matter where they are. They're doing the same thing. Early season like this, especially when it's post-spawn, they're looking for the warmest water because that's where that first weed growth is going to be. That's where the forage is. That's where the predators go. I think it's time to start rigging up and I want to catch some fish. Let's too. do it, man. Let's do it. Let's go. When you are looking at buying planter board specific lights, most of them are 10 to 15 bucks a piece. And that's an investment if you're looking at lighting up six to eight to 10 boards. Check this thing out. That is a 99 cent light you can find in the camping department at any Walmart. It's just a little plastic tube, a single LED, a few watch batteries. And all I did was unscrew everything, load this thing up with silicone, cover up the button with silicone, and these things are absolutely bulletproof, not to mention they float. So I just have this thing zip tied on here. The tattle flag still works, not that you really need it for this, but they also come in all different colors. I have green for the right side of the boat and red for the left side. 1.3. got this line set. We just literally, we, we had a fish drop and we just got the board off. We knew it was a good fish, but I don't, we kind of got tangled up, so. <laughs> Dude, when there's cameras in the boat, everything goes wrong. Like, that's just how it is. Can you feel a fish on there? Yep, there's weight. We're not moving. Yep, barely. Not much. <laughs> no, it's not big. Not as big as the last one. No, it's a walleye. Just a little guy. Wow, that's the smallest one we're gonna catch tonight. I'm just calling it right now. <laughs> just a little male on that shadow wrap shad. That's been a really hot day for the last few nights out here. There we go. That perch shadow wrap shad. Like I said, that's probably gonna be the smallest one we catch tonight. That first one was quite a bit bigger. So but... don't be afraid to throw big baits. Obviously, this was not afraid to eat new. No. They're aggressive, they're hungry. They just got done doing the hardest thing they have to do all year. So they're they're putting the feedback on. <laughs> <laughs> but in all reality, it's not a super big bait. So don't be afraid of that. You know, those size 10 Husky jerks, any size jerk bait that's, that's similar to that, you're golden. They're hangry. How have we not like bite them? Never mind. <laughs> That's all it took, you just had to complain about it. Yeah, it feels decent. I don't think it's huge, 
here to cross the ball and keep him on the edge of the wall. I can't see nothing. I see him. He's coming. Oh, there he is. <sighs> Not a super giant, but it's. He was mad. A little bigger than the first one. He was angry Not as enough. Big as the one that we lost. Hey, that's on one that I painted. That's kind of cool. Barely hooked. Not quite as big as I thought he was. But no. There's a ton of fish kind of that size, that 15 to 17 inch range. Yep. Would be tasty, but not legal. No, 18 or bigger out here. All right, buddy. Sweet. All right. Let's get back in, catch yep. a couple more. Catch a big one. Still on? Yep. Doubled up. Outside board. This feels like a better one. I don't know what we got. Can you see it? Yeah. I'm going to try to pull it in. Keep it coming. Keep coming. Walleye? Yep. That's a better fish. All right, let's get this one. <laughs> Here, you want to take this yeah. one? We're good. I think we're out of the way. I'm going to get, get a lot of weight on this one. I'm going to get this one out of the way a little bit better. There oh. we go. All right. A better fish. That's a nice one. So, yeah, we got about a 17 inch here. <laughs> that not, was quite a, not quite a legal fish, but just waiting <laughs> for another one to go. But that's a better fish. That's what we're looking for. How clean is that? All right, let's get this one back. Go ahead and get yours in. It's just really different because the last time we did this together, it was the Fox River. Right. These are not. Uh, Come these on. are not Fox River fish, but these are nice fish. Oh, and they and there are some big fish in here. There are definitely some big fish. Well, when I can feel head shakes with the board on. I think you got a good one. You better not dump this thing. Thanks. <laughs> Nothing but confidence. I, I got you. Well, it's not jumping, so I know it's not a smallmouth. <laughs> I think you got a really good fish on there. I really do. Keep coming. Keep coming. Yes. That was a double. That was a double there. Hopefully we get some more like that. Let's see what we got here. It is a walleye. It's real close. Start stepping back, left side. What a fish. And they're acting like big fish, which is funny. They're like, checking to see if it's a female or a male. I think it's probably just a male. We had a bunch. Let's go find some ladies. It's not mine, but I'll show them off because we're trying to get another one. All right. See ya. Just about to put out the mini board, and this walleye was like, nah, nah, nah. No, oh, we got it. Nah, bruh. I'm gonna bite a little bit here. I oh. that we're getting so close to the boat. They don't. Yeah, I was a little worried that they'd be All these lights. upset about the lights because the water's so clear and it's so calm tonight. Oh, we got wait for it. That looks like a good one, maybe. Nice and easy. Oh, it's a bass, dude. That's a giant large mouth. <laughs> dude, I thought that was a walleye. Like, looking at the mouth, I'm like, dude, it's a giant walleye. No, oh it's Lord. like a five pounder. I thought that was a giant walleye, the way that thing was coming We're in. We're going to take a picture of this. Look at the size of that thing, dude. We should do night trolling large mouth. <laughs> dude, sometimes outside board. Yeah, dude, sometimes. Oh, this might be a decent one. Dude, that's a tank large mouth. That's a five pounder. <laughs> I saw the mouth and I'm like, holy crap, dude. I'm only putting that in the live well to take a picture. This thing's heavy, dude. This is a walleye, it's big. Okay, I'm ready. No, you can't unsnap that quick. That thing head shakes, it's gone. Okay, I'm good. It's a walleye. 
kind of your stereotypical Lake Mendota 17 and a half inch walleye. There are just tons and tons of these things in here. But uh, man, that thing fought like like it was mid 20s. It was just heavy, heavy, heavy. That was weird. And it was hooked pretty good too. So you can imagine what a big one fights like. These things are just so grumpy out here. Not nearly as cool as what you just caught though. That thing was a beast, but yeah, let's get this dude back and let's stick it. Up. That was technically a double too, because yep. you just got like a five pound large mouth and then I got a walleye. Well, I can say honestly, this is a first. I don't think I ever would have expected to catch a large mouth trolling at night, but what a wonderful fish. That's just insane. Look at that mouth. <laughs> it's just, that's insane. Well, <laughs> that's crazy. We're gonna let her go. Oh, there's one. Yep. Is he on? Yep. Oh yeah. Hook it to the top. Oh, doubled up. Double, middle. I think you, you can, yep, you can swing over it. I think we're gonna drop another waypoint here. <laughs> Doubles are cool, even if they're not monsters. Oh, hold on, hold on, I got a hand on this hook here. Well, I gotta tell you everybody, the future is looking bright. The future is looking bright, look at that. Awesome. I gotta get this back because Noah's hooked up. <laughs> what in the hell? We got some eggs. That's gross. Something spawned on you. <laughs> right between the hooks. Comment below if you think that would affect how this bait works. <laughs> okay. See what I got here. I can unsnap it. I have to. Oh. You another, and another another 16 incher. You and the Kevin Van Dam swing. Dude, if they're coming in the boat, keep them coming. Okay, maybe I can actually get these lines all out. <laughs> I didn't even have all the lines out and then fish and then another fish. So Noah hasn't really explained at all, like talk about his fish because we're on, we're just catching so many fish right now that. I can't even really talk about it, it's just happening. Just need to get them to grow up a little more. Just a little more. That's a little better. Hell yeah, a little bigger. A little bit bigger. 17 and three quarters. 17 and three quarters. That is all night long. Come on, man. Couldn't be just a little bigger. Please, just screw up. See you, buddy. I love how built these these fish are in Madison. Well, they're definitely eating well. Yep, there's lots of food in here, but that's a little more what we're looking for. Not quite 20 probably, I'm guessing that's probably 19 or so, but this is more the quality of fish that we're looking for. And there's, there's actually a lot of these in here, even though we've caught a ton of those, you know, 16, 17 inches tonight. There's a lot of these really nice quality. I mean, this is a perfect eating size fish. If you're gonna keep walleyes, this is a good one. And actually regenerate. Hey, what? another double. Hey, we are doubled up. Technically. Another double. <laughs> I was hanging on to that fish when that board dropped, so. Sweet. That's a good one. Another good one. So we, we got another school of maybe slightly larger fish coming in. He chomped that bait. Is that that shadow wrap again? Yeah. Yep. That's been the bait, man. I'm telling you. If anybody from Rapala is watching this video, if you could hook me up with like 50 of these things, that would be amazing because this is the bait. Hands down, the bait. Nice fish, dude. Bang, bang. So, two legals at the same time. That's pretty cool. 
there we go. That's the third fish for a limit. Hopefully I'm not blinding everyone with my headlamp, but just a beautiful fish. Look at that fin. And they're just super stocky in here. They're eating really well. I'm waiting for that board to go again. But uh, yeah, just nonstop action. And this bite goes for almost a month. You can keep catching fish doing this all the way through the end of May. So if you want to come out and do this, come out and do it. It's so easy. It is so much fun. And uh, if you want to learn how to do it, get a hold of me. We got a few nighttime trolling bite days open. So if you want to come do it, get a hold of me, but get a hold of me quick. And uh, let's throw this guy in the box and let's reset. Good bite going here. Nice job. Man. On a very large set of lakes with plenty of fish. This is just Lake Mendota, by the way. This isn't even, you know, Lake Monona, Wabisa, Kiganza. All of these lakes have this bite going on. You can catch them on any of these lakes. So don't think that you have to come to Mendota because it's the big one, the deep one. There's all these rock points and stuff. That doesn't matter. And to be totally honest, if you want to catch a real big one, go to Monona. That's where the really big ones are. You might not catch as many, but you're going to get big ones. If you want to catch eaters, you can catch them all over the Madison chain. But the reason we're on Mendota is just because I, I love Mendota. Off of them, you're going to get a nice batch of fish, and you do have a shot at a real big one. So you want to come out and do it? Come out and do it. It's not that hard. If I can do it, anyone can do it. If Trevor can do it, anyone can do it. <laughs> love you, buddy. <laughs> this is my chesty cam. I can't even turn it around and defend myself. <laughs> Seriously, why do I deal with this? <laughs> but really, this is an amazing bite. We've caught so many fish. We've had so many that got off. A bonus largemouth. <laughs> like the giant one of, largemouth. Just one of the I never could have imagined catching a largemouth bite. Try something else. I love trying something else because when we try something else, we learn something. Something, something's, yeah, something cool usually happens. We're gonna try something else, uh, and I guess you're just gonna have to wait and see. Mm -hmm.